Hi there, this is Tom from eDirectory. Thank you for tuning in to our video tutorial series. In this video, we're going to cover how to use the import tool in your eDirectory software. Let's begin. To start, we're going to pull up the site manager area uh, of an eDirectory uh, site that we have here. This is just an example site. As you can see, there's not a whole lot going on here yet, uh, but we'd like to import uh, some more data and fill out this directory a bit more. Uh, we'd like to add uh, more than just our two listings that we have here. Uh, now the import tool is a great feature if you have some pre-existing listings, uh, some pre-existing events, uh, so basically just some outside data from another site or another directory, and you'd like to import it into your site here, uh, which can be a, a really great feature instead of having to manually enter all of this data uh, when you can just import it uh, in, in one single action through a bulk upload. Uh, so let's review how to do that now. Uh, to get started, we're going to go to our content manager. This is where all of our content is going to be managed. So towards the bottom here, we have an import and export data feature. I'm going to click on that. So we go back to the import and export tool. So we can uh, bring data in with the import. Uh, we can take pre-existing uh, pre content that we have on this actual directory and export it there. Uh, but in this video, we're just going to cover imports here. Uh, so it's pretty stri straightforward to get started. We're just going to go to import listings. That's what we're going to start with here. We're taken to the import listings area of our software. Uh, now all imports must be made in a CSV file format. Uh, they must follow the template that we provide. So up here uh, we have the area where we can download the CSV template. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to download in the bottom of my browser here. I'm going to open that. It's a CSV file, so this should open in Excel. Bring this into the frame a little bit better. So this is going to be uh, an example of what the, uh, the CSV file should look like and how things should be formatted uh, within here. Now everything is going to be a little uh, shrunk here because it's not um, has to be properly expanded to really read everything, but you can get the idea of a lot of the information that is involved here. We're going to have uh, the username associated with the account, password, first name, last name, uh, the company. You can see we can go through with a lot of this listing information. We have uh, addresses, uh, the phone number, uh, the email account, uh, the URL for the account contact, uh, listing ID number, uh, and it really goes on for quite a while. Uh, now let's go back Let's see, see this is the add listing page here. Uh, so what the CSV template is actually doing is uh, giving you basically a column in Excel uh, for a lot of this data here uh, where, where we have uh, the account person's name, uh, the description, uh, the contact information, the email, the URL, the address, the reference, uh, Facebook page, hours, uh, all of these things uh, that we can find in our Excel sheet here. Uh, so what, what this, this is doing is just helping you to organize this where you can upload things uh, all at once uh, and have them formatted in a way that the eDirectory software will understand so when you upload this file it knows to uh, place which information in, into the proper field and in, in for the proper listing. Uh, so we have this file here which we're actually going to use to, to import. Uh, so we're going to import, we have these five areas here. Uh, one of these lines has some blank information, but it's showing you that uh, not, some of this information is not needed as long as you have parts of it, and you, and you can go through. Uh, we're going to upload this here. So let's get back into the Site Manager, back into the Imports section here. So below uh, the area for the template, we have the Settings section here. Uh, now a lot of these settings are described down below here. We say a little more information regarding these settings. Uh, which I do recommend reading, uh, and I'm going to go over a lot of that uh, in this video right now. Um, so to begin with our settings, we have uh, a question asking if the import CSV file comes from an export. So if you've exported this information from your eDirectory or from another area uh, into your CSV template, uh, be sure to check this box so when you're importing that new file, eDirectory can understand that this came from an export and will know how to properly read it and format it accordingly. Uh, below that, uh, you have the option to enable all imported items as active. This is up to you. Uh, if you feel like your listing information is ready to go and can be active on your live site, click that. 
Uh, if you want to go through and review everything, maybe add some additional text or images, then leave that unchecked and go through and manually check everything. All the imported items will be pending uh, unless noted otherwise. Below that, uh, any new categories that you add through this CSV file import can be set to featured. We pull up our Excel sheet again for this template. We can go all the way to the back here, and we see these areas here. You can include different categories for your listing, up to five. Uh, if some of these are new categories that you're putting here, when it enters them into the eDirectory system, uh, they can be set to be a featured category, save you a little bit of time, so you don't have to go in and manually uh, set them to be featured. That's a personal preference, of course. Below that, you can overwrite any matching items. Uh, you, might be in, uh, you might be uploading some, some data to update some of your, your listings. They may have some older, previous information. Uh, so if you have newer, uh, more up-to-date information, this will overwrite any, any items that it matches for a corresponding listing. Uh, below that, you can update the friendly URLs for uh, the matching items. So any of the, uh, the items that have the URLs in there, they can be updated to an SEO-friendly URL. Uh, we do advise down here to use carefully. As you can see down here, uh, if, you're, if, you're, uh, if you're using a pre-existing URL, uh, you're going to have some information that's going to be indexed in Google, may, maybe has some, some SEO juice uh, and, and is uh, showing up well in, in Google search rankings. And just in general, if the search engines are already recognizing it, uh, then it's good to leave that URL as it is, uh, or just be aware that if you create and change this to a different uh, URL for your eDirectory site, um, any of that pre-existing uh, SEO and Google indexing data will be lost. Uh, so just be careful if that is, is the case. Below that, uh, you can import all items to the same user account. Uh, if all of these listings correspond to a single user, uh, it's great to check that box um, and to make sure that the system understands that they're, they're all from the same account. And lastly, on our settings, we can default set a default level for the items that don't have a level specified to them already. Um, so if they're all coming in as new, maybe you want them as the, the lowest setting as bronze, maybe you want them as the highest setting as diamond. Uh, that's up to you if, if that matters or not. Uh, if you know already where you want them to, to be listing level wise, there is a section in the Excel sheet uh, where you, you can put um, your listing level. It's right here. So see these, we have already chosen what we want for them, so it doesn't really matter what we're going to choose here because they all have a level specified. So let's go next to the area where we can uh, upload our actual file. So we have the file upload section for our CSV format to be imported. There's also a tab for an FTP file to be uploaded. This is different uh, here if you have uh, an FTP domain that you can use. Uh, this is just an alternative method. Uh, but usually the CSV file format is going to work for most people. Uh, make sure it's converted to UTF-8 uh, if you're using a different encoding. Uh, and make sure uh, the file size is below 5 megabytes. Again, we also have some more information. These were related back to the settings from before. Uh, but you can add your file here. So let's use that file we just downloaded because we know it's formatted. That one confirms that the file is there and ready to go. And next we'll go to a preview section here. Now this will uh, preview uh, the first six columns that you can see here. Uh, this is great to check if your information and your data is properly aligned. Uh, so we have addresses here, company name here, names. Uh, usernames, passwords, everything seems to be lining up accordingly. And below that, we also offer uh, a little bit more information about the import process, uh, some tips, uh, some areas to make sure that you've double-checked. Uh, one of the most important areas is if you've used um, any areas of quotes or special characters. You can see here backslash, star, underscore, uh, colon, uh, things like that. Um, you want to be sure to avoid and remove these anywhere that you can in uh, your data set. So let's go back to the Excel sheet. Uh, and we can see for categories, we have these arrows here. That's okay. Uh, we can use dashes in uh, things for dates. Uh, we have numbers for phone and postal code, fax, things like that. 
We can use backslash in a URL section, uh, but try not to use these backslashes uh, anywhere else besides a URL uh, area here, a URL column. Uh, and the same for, uh, in, for emails. You can use the at symbol in emails and all the way at the beginning in a username because most of these usernames are going to be emails. We can use the at symbol here, but avoid using the at symbol uh, anywhere else in this, these other areas of data. You just want them to be uh, plain text, upper or lower case, and standard numbers. Try to avoid any other characters. Otherwise, uh, there will be errors in your import uh, and certain uh, amounts of data and certain uh, parts of your file will not be uploaded uh, properly. So once you've double checked that and your preview looks good, you can go ahead and perform the upload here. So our file was successfully uploaded, total lines, we had zero errors. Uh, so remember we had five lines worth of data, so everything was uh, put through there accordingly. Uh, my date here, the name of the file. Uh, we don't have any added lines yet uh, because our status is that we are in, in the queue here. Uh, now we can roll back uh, and, and we can also stop this import and we can even delete this log. Uh, and this is going to be in queue until the, the cron job refreshes uh, and the import is, is settled and taken care of. Uh, now so we don't just sit here in silence watching this. Uh, I have a, an upload that was already performed. Let's see if I can... Get that here. Yeah, so when that's finished, uh, you will your status will change. So it'll go from in queue, as you can see here, to finished, as it was here. Uh, and you can see to check if all of your lines were properly added. So we had five lines added, uh, and they were all added properly. Uh, so when that is completed, you know that your import uh, was performed uh, correctly and everything uh, was successful. And you'll be able to go back into your content manager area, go into your listings, check out uh, these new listings that have now been added to your eDirectory site. Uh, now, again, if you have any errors or there are things that are going wrong with this import, uh, be sure to double check your, your data. You can always delete a log and, and re-import it uh, if you think it was a user error on your side again with these uh, special characters or your CSV file was not formatted correctly. Uh, otherwise, uh, feel free to please contact us. Uh, you can contact us at support.edirectory.com and give us a call, send us an email, uh, re reach out at all if you have any issues with your import. Otherwise, good luck with your eDirectory software. And as always, happy building. Thanks again.